What's up? Anyway, what's good? Alright, so... Так, по-русски или по-английски? Как его делать? If I do in English, will I attract more audience towards this video? I know my audience is Russian, mostly. Maybe let's try it out. And see how it goes. And like, I'll just name it like intuition and it's gonna be like, hey, so, your intuition... Или нужно по-русски говорить? Ну что, у меня есть русские же подписчики? But it doesn't go, come to me naturally. Alright, hey, what's up, you guys? Anyway, I'm gonna speak in English because I feel that's more... More of me. I can be more myself, I guess, I don't know. Look at this stuff. I figured I will change up a little bit my style. Anyway, so what's the video is gonna be about? Oh my god. Is primarily intuition and the way you can navigate it, I guess. Uh, I'm currently in Moscow, Russia. That's why I am a little bit pulled towards Russian speaking audience and speaking in the Russian language, because I'm myself a Russian person. At least I was born as a Russian speaking person. Anyway. So yeah, intuitive, intuitive. Oh my God, I speak about this in my music. I speak about it in my SoundCloud videos, music videos, um, and sketches. So, like I really hope the message gets across to those who are in need of it. Um, yeah, basically. Uh, I myself sometimes struggle with uh, deciphering between what my ego tells me, what my mind is speaking, what it's like trying to say logically and like looking at the past, looking at like, but this is how it was before, this is how things were. And that's what was an outcome of such like behavior or action. And that's why in the future this will come out of whatever the blocks you're building from this point on. And my intuitive knowing is always like, that's crap. Go this way. This is bullshit that doesn't work anymore. Or like, this bitch is lying. Like, just face it, you know. Like, you always know, like inside, you feel it all, all the time, constantly. You're like, you have this inner compass that's like, points straight to the north or whatever. So yeah, I, I struggle myself with huge shifts that we are like, all going through. Where all the time you were thinking, but hey, if I want to accomplish this, I need to do this thing on a constant basis. And that's true, it's like whenever you think a thought, so many times it becomes your vibration, basically. If you constantly think of yourself in a negative state, in a negative mind, in a negative flavor. Oh my God, the birds. Wow, there are so many of them. Because it's autumn, it's gonna be winter. Shit. Yeah. So it becomes your wow. It's really, it's like a tornado or like a whirlpool of of birds. What's happening? Can you? Excuse me. I'm sorry. My God, pimples. Anyway, there are a bunch of birds flying, so yeah, that's what's happening. So, uh, yeah, but in what the fuck is happening? Like, are you serious? Miracles, miracles, God Almighty. Anyway, and if you constantly think about the positive stuff of the positive outcome, like if I'm just drawn to them. This is so beautiful. I'm 
I'm sorry. Anyway, I'm a mess. Don't judge me. Uh, who is in these days? So yeah, if you're constantly thinking on the positive side, if you're like training yourself, because it's, yeah, it is a training. You inevitably attract the same positive outcomes, positive vibrations, positive frequencies. So whenever you find yourself in some toxic relationship, whenever you find yourself in some toxic environment and somewhere mm, not benefiting your soul, that's like a trauma that's playing out within your consciousness. That at some point in your life, like in your childhood, most probably and definitely, you weren't like neglected or you neglected yourself because of the needs of other, like of your parents maybe, because they were not able to contain themselves. Like for instance, I had a mother. I, I don't really, I can't really speak for myself because my story is, I still don't really understand much of it. Basically, we inherit our parents' coping mechanisms, you know? Like, you shush yourself, you shut yourself down when someone is in, like, bad mood because you don't want them to be in a worse mood, you know? So you just, like, you, like, um, how do you say that? Uh, fuck, this is so, no like, amazing, sorry, not annoying. Uh, Amazingly annoying, annoyingly amazing. Anyway, uh, yeah, basically, you like you're a whole being, and once the situation in your childhood is like very difficult, you split yourself between what you truly feel and like you can say, like, Hey, I don't like this shit. But if you don't do this, you're splitting into consciousnesses, and the other one is like, All right, you know, more of submissive towards the situation and that's the whole battle between the humanity right now everyone is just divided into millions of pieces because everyone went through so much trauma and so much like of neglect of their basic needs of their basic desires that it's just like you can't really comprehend it and it's just all over the place um so yeah, I, I really don't know what I'm talking about specifically, precisely, but the main topic is intuition. And intuition is like your navigating tool. I believe, because I listen to Feel Good and to Lori Ladd a lot, and I always thought like, oh, I'm the smartest, I know it all. Uh, but then like, hey, like I listen to my, like I listen myself to a lot of like people outside of myself. I'm just amazed at the birds, I'm sorry. They're like sitting on this line, electric line, where it's like networking and internet and I don't know, electricity, electric lines. Yeah, and they're just sitting there. So yeah, um, and I did myself uh, shut my intuition down several times thinking like but this is how I like this person acts this is how this situation unfolds like it's good and my intuition is like shit you better leave that crap away like like you just don't you feel dissonance you don't feel good about it and if you continue like neglecting it like well they will change I will change you know you will face the same circumstance in like some period of time it's like in cycles as like full moons like it's all the time bringing out the emotions of was the situation truly um evoking out of your perception of the out of you evoking out of you like if it's stressful if it's neurotic if it's um, not nourishing, you will feel it, and, like, the only true action to take is to fucking leave that place, you know, and just, god damn, bless, bless all the souls, and just, like, how, like, vibe, vibe with yourself, you know, don't 
sacrifice yourself for someone else's benefit, like your comfort should not be chopped to the pieces until you're like left with like a little drop of some satisfaction and the rest is just complete chaos. Like no bitch. I'm speaking really general stuff, really general stuff. And I hope someone who's listening to me right now is getting the the idea because I listen, I all the time listen through my heart. Like I don't listen here. I, if someone speaks to me, I'm like, what? I didn't understand shit what you're saying, but I vibe with you. And this is this is my navigation. Like even with me, with me speaking with you right now, I don't think what I'm speaking. I don't care what I'm speaking. But I vibe with what I say because I stand for like truth and I hope to find one. And I also stand with, we're not only the light or whatever, like we're not only those like, I'm so good, I'm so shiny, I'm so like thinking of everybody else, bitch. I was like that, I was like that. Until I was a pushover and complete just wreck. Because everyone else was like in their power, knowing their shadow, I guess, I don't know. There is a phrase, you'll be consumed by others' shadows, whatever that means. And now I'm more, I hope, <laughs> to be more aware of my own shadows and darkness and embrace it because that's you. Everything else, like there is so much truth about the world that everything outside is just you, a reflection of you. If you don't like something, that's something that you neglect in yourself. There is so much stuff and I'm still conflicted, still conflicted to this point, to this day. Even though I hoped to know it all. Maybe I do know it all. And I just believe that I need some external validation. This is ridiculous. This world is so ridiculous. And yeah, I don't... Oh my god, is it? Yeah, it's on. Uh, I don't know necessarily why I'm here right now doing this, but I do need to speak out for something. Even though I don't share my like situation, I don't share private stuff, because like everyone goes through some bullshit. Everyone goes through something. Everyone faces their own circumstances and people and whatever it's ah ah this is russian side of me ah точно <laughs> anyway i just realized because um uh today i yesterday i couldn't fall asleep i was so stressed out i felt so misaligned so distorted i was like oh my god what the hell and there was only one image of one certain specific situation inside and I was like, I can't do this anymore. Like it was a reoccurring thing, you know, a theme. And I just, today, like a few hours ago, I just cleared out the situation. I was like, I no longer vibe with this situation. I don't want this. And I feel better. I feel better. I'm still a mess, a major mess. But I feel better because it's like, well, I do speak my truth. If something is not in my highest good, I will feel it. Bitch. How do you like my environment, by the way? This is so dope. And I have flowers and I take care of them. So, it's like so beautiful. Guys, flowers teach me so much. It's like incredible. Basically, I look at them and they bloom so slowly and in cycles. And they need, as all living beings, as nature does, sun, 
fresh water and just like nourishing soil <laughs> everyone does the same like any form of business any form of art you need a ground a stable ground to build on water is like your emotions your soul that you pour into the soil and sun is basically well actually the sun is you i think because the sun in astrology represents your self you know like it shines all the time you know it's just the lamp but um i hope you understand the metaphor so yeah, and like when I see a flower blooming and then there is like new leaf growing out of it, a new branch, I'm just like, oh my God, like it's so amazing because it's happening naturally. Like I don't look at it 24 seven observing it, but I notice as time passes, whatever the time is, the difference between states at which the form is and I myself like I'm looking at myself and I'm like oh different states of me like I'm observing me as a flower you know like sometimes I don't vibe with some food I guess I don't know with some water with some seasoning but I vibe with that which brings me like sun nourishment bunch of information bunch of information but I hope you get the main topic, and that's intuition. You always know inside what's good for you and what's not. You always do. No matter what. No matter fucking what. And it's ridiculous because each time you like, eh, I'm gonna like pretend I don't feel this way, I'm just gonna work through changes hoping that the other situation will change itself and then it's like, well, you're just lying to yourself, sorry. Yeah, that's the main thing, you got the general topic, I bet. I, I didn't want to do this video, I was just like sitting in my place and I was like, I'm just gonna play guitar because I have songs to publish. And those songs are the same as this, it's just in a melodic way of me saying some topic which I understood, you know. So yeah. It's ridiculous. And like all the time I listen to someone like from the internet who posts them their wisdom which have bless their souls thank god they have like those people who just share this because i listen to it and i'm just like slightly but realigning towards my true self too because i'm just listening to good vibes to people who try to not try but empower themselves empower people around them um and basically a lot of them not a lot but like some speak of as if like the energy shift was towards Imagine if you were always a right-handed person, like you write with your right hand, you cook with your right hand, you like type, do stuff with your right hand, and suddenly then she's like, mm-mm, honey, we're only doing the left hand thing now. And basically the right hand is like, I perceive it as logic, mathematics, you know, I don't really know which part of the brain is, I think the left side of the brain is logic, and the right one is like communication and art. I don't really know but yeah the energy shift was towards like previously it was more of um, how do you say that not feminine or masculine I know Russian words matriarchat patriarchat patriarchy patriarchy oh never use that word anyway so previously it was more of the patriarchy uh, 2000 years of Pisces age was about patriarchy okay I, I get it now uh, it's like go and get it masculine energy do stuff action action you know you need to accumulate you need to accumulate and now it's just like you know we're not doing this anymore this no longer works now what works is intuition the vibe 
What's the vibe in? What do I like to do? You know? What brings me peace to my soul? What brings, like, harmony? What brings joy? What brings good, you know, goodness, basically? Um, nourishment, taking care of you, all that stuff. And you feel it and you sense it all around the place. Like, it starts with, with women, with gays, with black people. Everything that's oppressed is being just, like, bloomed out because it's like oh my god for how long can you neglect yourself you know yet again i don't know what i'm speaking with whom do i speak to but i hope you're getting the message because i'm i'm, I'm not saying anything specific i'm just first of all i'm speaking through myself because I was so stressed and I needed to let it out and I hope you get the message whatever it is for you but if you're feeling like out of place everyone is so don't even stress about it be cool be good with you take care of you if you need a break take a break if you don't like someone say it to them don't hide it, bitch, we're done with this shit. If you like someone, I don't know, you, you can always tell, you know. I'm just like, I always was a people pleaser because of my family raising. Like, I would always... I'm sorry, that's just a little bit dirty. Yeah, like, I would always, because of my self-esteem damage, I guess, that I took when I was a child, I would try to people please, because that, that would bring me validation. Like, if people like you, that means you're a good person. And I'm just, like, so done with it, because I no longer liked me. When people liked me, I was like, shit, I don't like this person, what the fuck? And now, I'm telling you, like, I went through the phase where people, and I still go through it, people dislike me at that, and like, I bet many think I'm crazy, I, I think I'm myself sometimes nuts, but I'm just like, I'm the only person I'm gonna be with until this body exists, you know, and then I'm gonna merge into different, like, you know, like, I don't care for anyone who's external, I need to be caring for who's internally, because everything you look for, should be here love comfort abundance you know everything comes from within my energy is all over the place like i feel it anyway i think this is it i think this is it this studio is called intuition trust it trust it even though it's Maybe against the odds, I don't know. Like, I really feel that your emotions never lie. Like, you feel it, and it's like, that's truth. Because that's truth for you. You're the only one who's in this body. You know? Anyway. I'm gonna end this here. Thanks for watching. I hope you're getting the message <laughs> once again. But yeah. Maybe I came here to just rant about stuff. I don't know. But I feel better now. Um, so yeah. Have a good day. Have a good week. Have a good life. And there is only present moment. Remember that. Stop trying to be in the past, stop trying to be in the future. No point to that because it doesn't exist. This moment is the only thing that happens 